Okay, career mode. Okay, first of all, I need to... I'm going to be talking. But anyway, first of all, I need to get a mission. Mm-hmm. Vessel 500. Escape atmosphere. I'll just take them all. Go in and build a ship. name. Start out with your cockpit. And if you look at the tabs, you got pods and controls. And go over to utilities and put a parachute on your ship. Then go back to your fuel tanks and put a, a few fuel tanks on. Now what I did with the camera is I just scrolled my mouse wheel to scroll down. There's a basic ship to start. Now down at the bottom in the yellow or orange window, this is your sequence and I'm putting my sequence in two different sequences. And save my ship and go to launch. Uh, should set it on the launch pad. Which is set it nice. Okay, now hit T to turn your SAS on. Hit shift, hold down shift, and watch your fuel throttle go up to max. And then from that point, hit spacebar. Rockets on. scientific reasons you kind of want to right click on your crew cab and you want your crew to do a report and say keep data. That way you get extra science points when you land. This rocket is not going to go very high. Uh, we already achieved the altitude record. It's not going to go into space, I don't think. It's almost out of fuel, but it's moving pretty fast. Alright, now it's out of fuel. Now you can hit your M key from this point and view your map. Hold down right mouse button to scroll to turn your world around. You can see the highest point, which is AP, of the altitude it's going to achieve. And you hit your M key again to go back to you, your vessel. And basically from this point on it's just watching it float. So I'm going to speed up time. Oop. Warning. It's a warning because you're in low altitude it gives you this warning not to time warp that fast. One, and when you're in time warp, you can't control your ship, you know. I mean, you can, but it's very jittery and shit because you're sped up time. Now you can see my altitude is starting to drop up here. That means I'm starting to descend now. Well, let's slow down time to 1x. Now on your little compass down here, the yellow circle with the X in it is basically your descent circle. A circle with the yellow circle without an X is your uh, the direction to give it to go faster. You know, it's going backwards, forward, and backwards pretty much. 
and the surface speed is down there your degree and you got your force which is your G tolerance and your throttle on the other side but you hit your X key and it'll shut off your throttle completely immediately that way you don't have to hold down control and let your throttle go down slow and you want to wait on your parachute you don't want to deploy your parachute too soon so you just let it drop and you know, watch your altitude your key to shut off your ASS and the parachute will stand it up right you know because your parachute's on the top of your rocket so it's gonna pull it up straight and it's gonna descend it slowly uh, which it is moving pretty fast because I got three gas tanks so it's heavy and the parachute can't hold that much weight so it's moving pretty fast so when it hits the ground the engine's going to blow up on it because it's moving too fast. You want to keep your surface footage about five uh, minutes a second. And there goes the engine. It's done. And that was our first flight. Now we hit escape, go back to the Space Center. And you got five resource points for uh, the missions and then you go to your space center your actual tracking center click on your ship and hit recover and when you recover your vessel you'll get you know whatever scientific data he had stored in his ship you'll get those scientific points which is going to give us another 8.5 science points plus you'll get money back for the parts it recovered and you'll get respect points for your curve and it's done you exit and that was our first flight now we got 13.5 points uh -huh. we achieved two missions and we got more missions um, you got the Mach 16 parachute and stuff like that and you got another altitude mission uh -huh. I'm gonna collect that one um, some of these missions you kind of want to do them a uh, little bit at a time. I would look through them and look for blue mm -hmm. resource points mm -hmm. right there. Uh, is blue resource points. That mission, if you do that mission and complete it, you'll get those extra science points, and that's what you want to achieve. The rest of the missions mm -hmm. is just mm -hmm. giving you more money and respect points. You don't really have to do them. It's the missions that give you the r blue resource points that you should do. Okay, now we got three missions. Now, from this point, we can go to our research tree, technology tree. And we got science points now, so we can click on the first one and get all that stuff. Science. Okay, now we own all that stuff. So when we exit, we go back to our assemble. And now we got more stuff like you got your uh, TR-18A which you can take your rocket and you can attach that to your vessel which that will allow you to eject the fuel tanks after they're depleted and your ship won't be so heavy and when you use your parachute it will float a little bit slower and softer and it won't kill your Kerbal and you also have the under the science you have like your communication antenna which you want to add that to your ship and you will have a new thing 
which it takes scientific readings and you want to add that to your ship now your ship is like stage two which you launch your ship again the exact same way but this time you would do scientific the scientific readings and stuff and it gets you more research points and you just keep doing it over and over again and keep adding to your ship until you get to a point where you get into outer space and stuff that's the end of this tutorial